the way that social media has turned around in the last three or four weeks, I think it, it's so, it's hard to explain. With the gay marriage referendum, it didn't impact most people directly. You know, that, that was not something that everyday Australians came across. It was a question posed to them that they had to sort of think about. So apathy was far more prevalent in that referendum, not referendum, that question. But with this referendum, everybody's tax money goes to fund these things. Everybody's being locked out of national parks. Everybody's being threatened with not being able to go to their favourite beach because they're the wrong skin colour. Everybody's children has to deal with this in school every single day. Everybody has to have these welcome to country messages every time they go to a certain event. So it's already so overt that regardless of what money is put into a promotional campaign, people will already be coming to their own decisions. But when you break it down, Lyle, the message of The Voice is that Indigenous people want a treaty and separate sovereignty, meaning they are not Australians, but in fact, a different nation. Now, not only is that extremely toxic politics, you know, to base a nation on race, but what happens to the majority of Aboriginal people who are mixed race? Are they Australian or are they part of this black activist Marxist state? Well, that's the very confusing thing about this um, because it, it's based on uh, these grievances from the past. The whole idea of the, the voice is to create a political entity by which a treaty can then be negotiated uh, with uh, the government of the day. Now, they, they keep denying, you know, and Albanese, our Prime Minister, keeps saying it's not about treaty. But, of course, that's the reason why they want this mechanism set up because uh, our Aboriginal uh, friends uh, before... Uh, European settlement were, you know, two to three hundred separate nations speaking different languages. Uh, they were fighting each other. Uh, they uh, had separate land that they recognised. Um, they weren't allowed to cross each other's land. Uh, so the idea that there's some sort of entity here um, uh, prior to white settlement, a nation, uh, it didn't exist. That's why they want a voice so they can create some sort of unified uh, entity and then negotiate these treaties. But um, and, and then try and claim representation Operations on top of the $40 billion a year that Australian taxpayers already spend on Indigenous matters uh, unsuccessfully because the uh, life expectancy and the, uh, the health impacts are not being changed. So I think this is um, fraught with all sorts of danger. And yes, where does it leave those people, the majority of Indigenous people who are of, of mixed race? Uh, they've got a foot in both camps. They'll be asked to be in the grievance camp, uh, and pitted against uh, their fellow Australians. And um, this is um, a terrible uh, division that's being wrought on the Australian people. And uh, look, I, I hope you're right about people waking up to it, but uh, I really do fear the $50 million because I don't think everyone is, engage is as engaged as people like uh, you and I and those who, who follow politics on social media. 